We are taking a look at working for nonprofits with Lisa Dietlin. She is CEO of the Institute for Transformational Philanthropy, and she knows all about working at nonprofits because you are really the person we turn to <laughs> when it comes to charity issues. And I, I want to start by saying I was really surprised how many jobs there are available or maybe just jobs in general in this sector. Well, what most people don't realize, Angie, is that the nonprofit sector is the third largest employment sector in this country following retail and manufacturing. And people go, really? And I say, absolutely. There are 12 million people that work in this sector. That's over 10% of the workforce. Think about it this way. Most, more people work in this sector than work in oil and gas, the automotive industry, or the electronics industry. Now you're here to also dispel some myths about working for nonprofits. And some people might think, well, if I work for nonprofit, that probably means I'm not going to be making much money. <laughs> but you say that's not true. That is not true. Um, people who work at nonprofit organizations can earn a healthy salary. They can have benefits, health benefits, vacations, sick days, personal days, holidays off. It's not, you don't have to volunteer or feel like you're working at a volunteer's wages in order to work at a nonprofit organization. You know, think about a, a cardiac surgeon who works at Northwestern Hospital. He or she gets paid a good salary to work there and they're working for a nonprofit organization. Should you go for these jobs the same way you would go for a big corporate America competitive situation? Yes. The short answer is yes. You know, you should look. There's places to look like idealist.org, case.org, the Chronicle of Philanthropy, the Chronicle of Higher Education. There's actually publications, nonprofit jobs, mpo.net. There's job sites listed. But the first thing I always say to people is, why not go and volunteer? Why not go and check it out and see? Find out if you love. The other thing is talk to somebody. Pick up the phone. Nonprofit people are really accessible and they're willing to talk to you. And then think about taking a course, you know, if you really want to dive into this nonprofit sector, perhaps taking a course at a university or college, or perhaps attending a conference. There's lots of nonprofit organization conferences throughout the country. Thank you, Lisa.